every prophet in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam explained. Adam was the first human created by God who then formed Eve. They had a son named Seth, who continued the lineage after the tragic story of Cain and Abel. Enoch was a notable descendant, a man who was so close to God that he was taken to heaven without dying. Many generations later, Noah was instructed by God to build an ark to save his family and animals from a global flood. Shem, one of Noah's sons, survived this flood and became the ancestor of the Semitic people. In Islamic tradition, Hud and Saleh emerged as prophets, guiding people towards righteousness. Abraham then appeared on the scene, founding monotheism and becoming a father to many nations. His nephew, Lot, escaped the destruction of the sinful cities of Sodom and Gomorrah. Abraham's sons, Ishmael, a prophet in Islam, and Isaac, a patriarch of Israel, carried on his lineage. Isaac's son, Jacob, fathered the 12 tribes of Israel, and his son, Joseph, rose to power in Egypt, facilitated the Israelite settlement in the region. Job, a man known for his patience and faith amidst suffering, and Jethro, a Midianite priest and Moses' father-in-law, are other important figures. Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt and received the Ten Commandments. Aaron, his brother, was his spokesperson and the first high priest of Israel. After their death, Joshua took over, leading the Israelites into the Promised Land. Samuel, a prophet, judge, and kingmaker of Israel, anointed the first two kings of Israel, Saul and David. David's son Solomon built the first temple in Jerusalem. A succession of prophets followed, including Elijah who performed miracles and opposed idolatry, and Elisha who received a double portion of Elijah's spirit and guided Israelites back to monotheism. Joel forewarned of coming judgment using the imagery of a locust plague, while Amos advocated for social justice, order, and righteousness. Jonah delivered a powerful message of repentance to the people of Nineveh, which they heeded, and Hosea demonstrated God's faithful love despite human infidelity. Isaiah prophesied about Israel's exile and future restoration due to God's mercy. Meanwhile, Micah foretold that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. Nahum, in his stark and potent prophecy, foretold the imminent downfall of Nineveh, and Zephaniah foretold the day of the Lord. During the fall of Jerusalem, Jeremiah emerged as a significant prophet. He prophesied about the city's destruction and its restoration. Habakkuk dialogued with God about suffering, while Daniel interpreted dreams in Babylonian exile. Ezekiel was another prophet during the exile. His prophecies promised a hopeful future. Sometime later, Obadiah delivered stern prophecies against Edom, its longtime enemy while Haggai passionately urged for the prompt restoration of the Second Temple in Jerusalem. Zechariah, the Hebrew prophet, encouraged Israel's return and the rebuilding of the Temple. Malachi, the last Old Testament prophet, led the way to the intertestamental period. Zechariah, father of John the Baptist, ushered in the New Testament. John the Baptist prepared the way for Jesus, the central figure in Christianity believed to be the Son of God. After Jesus, in Islamic tradition, Muhammad is considered the last prophet, having received revelations that form the Quran. Those are all the recognized and known prophets in the Abrahamic religions. That's all for now. There will be many more interesting videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it.